Buenos días amigos, acabamos de llegar ahora mismo a Múnich, tras un cómodo vuelo de aproximadamente dos horas, ya estamos aquí y desde aquí vamos a coger nuestro coche y nos vamos a ir hasta la localidad de Aja, con la intención de enseñaros y aprender un poquito también nosotros acerca del uso de los productos de mantenimiento y conservación de nuestras armas, de los aceites. Próxima parada, Ballistol. Good morning. Nice to meet you, Luis de la Torriente from Iberalia TV, Spain. Andrea Settler, I'm the CEO from Bristol. Nice to meet you, Andrea. And Hello. Luis, how Hello. are you, Johannes? Thank you so much. Ballistol es un producto de reconocido prestigio en el mundo cinegético, la pesca y los deportes al aire libre. De hecho, su nombre, que procede de balístico y oil, fue concebido para uso como un aceite para armas en el ejército alemán durante la Primera Guerra Mundial. Y pronto se convirtió en un valioso remedio casero y millones de consumidores han experimentado con ballistol y han encontrado nuevas aplicaciones sorprendentes que incluyen el uso humano y animal. Pero vayamos por partes. Ya en 1874, don Friedrich Wilhelm Kleber, un abogado con intereses económicos, fundó la fábrica química FW Kleber en Colonia y comenzó a producir aceites y grasas a base de carbón. En el cambio de siglo, el ejército imperial estaba buscando una fórmula que cuidara y preservara no solo las partes metálicas de las armas, sino también los ejes de madera y los artículos de cuero. Al mismo tiempo, tenía que servir al soldado como un aceite para heridas menores como rasgaduras y abrasiones. Después de dos guerras mundiales, casi llegó la desaparición de la marca, hasta que se hizo cargo de la gestión el doctor Heinrich Zedler, que junto con su esposa Gerta, en 1989, consiguió que el nombre Ballistol sobreviviera a toda la agitación de la historia de nuestro siglo y se convirtió en material de referencia para cazadores, tiradores, pescadores y muchos otros, siendo sinónimo de calidad y versatilidad. Desde entonces, la compañía no ha parado de crecer. Además del conocido spray Ballistol Universal, existe una gran variedad de productos de gran utilidad y de uso muy extendido en cazadores y tiradores deportivos. Sin duda un aliado que nos ayudará con la limpieza a fondo del arma, de sus trofeos e incluso cuidar el aseo y las heridas de nuestros animales. Thank you so much for the invitation to meet and uh, to meet you and know you a little bit more. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you that you uh, made the trip here and we are very glad that you're here and we respect it very uh, much that you come to our company to introduce our products and the great history of uh, Ballistol Universal Oil. Yes, because we found too much, too many interest, too much interest on our audience about your product because we need to. Uh, preserve our arms, our rifles. We need to take care of them, and we don't know how. So I think we are in the right place. Yeah, you're absolutely in the right place. We uh, developed uh, the first weapon oil in 1904 with Ballistol Universal Oil, and established much more uh, gun cleaning and care products. And uh, we know a lot of uh, cleaning guns. And uh, I'm looking forward to explain you something about the most important things. Yes. Thank you so much. So let's see first. What is the product about? What it's all about? And then we'll see how you clean weapons, okay? Of you can teach us a little bit. Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. Una de las, uno de los departamentos claves de Ballistol, de Ballistol, es el laboratorio. Aquí es donde analizan todas las materias primas que reciben y es donde analizan sus productos. Vamos a intentar conocerlo un poquito más. Brother, is the chemical in the company? Good morning. Very nice Luis from Iberalia TV. Buenos días, ¿quién habla español aquí? You speak Spanish? Un poquito. Yo soy Luis de Iberalia Televisión España. Продолжение следует... 
should that you have and explain me a little bit more about what's inside in here. Ok, let's, let's go. go. Next storage and see what we have. No es solo limpieza y mantenimiento de armas, sino que os lo contamos. Venga, venid. So here we are with your main product, which is the universal one. Yes. But before talking about it, I found, I discovered this new product, the water stop from Ballistol, which is amazing. Right. Can you just show us how it works? Yes, of course, this. it's very easy to use. You just spray it on uh, the textile perhaps. On it. Yeah, let's do it on our cup, on yeah. our Riverada TV cup. You spray it on the cap, let it dry, and the water pulls off very easily. Okay. So Take some water and I spray the water on it, and then you can see how the water on the other end. Let's go, cool. let's yeah. see. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. The, right. the water doesn't stop here, it falls off. Yes, it falls off, and usually it has to dry about 12 hours uh, when it's warm. But now we just spray it on it and it works very, very fast and very easily. Wow, Andrea, it's so useful for us, for the hunters. I mean, we are always in outdoors and we need to be warm, we need to be dry. And this product is perfect for us. That's very important. That's the reason why we established it, because uh, we know the hunters uh, need good products and uh, so we make the best product you can get. Can we use it on the shoes, in the coats, yes. everywhere? On all textiles you can use it. You can use it on the shoes, on the trousers. And even the dirt won't uh, fix on the surface, so we can wash it easily off. What about Ballistol, universal one? Which are the main uses? I mean, on our conversations, on our previous conversations, you told us many, many, many uses. Which ones are the main ones? The main uses are what the people need most. The car, for example, uh, you need uh, it for the car on all materials. You can use it for the leather seats, for the inches, for uh, rust protection for cleaning if you have dirt on the uh, uh, glass on the cockpit to remove it um, even for plastic and rubber surfaces to clean them to protect them but uh, for rust protection uh, lubrication for the inches for the door locks for the antennas you can use it for everything and it works on all materials leather also taking care of leather leather care yes. yeah leather uh, to the leather seats uh, to the shoes not in the, for the car, but for you and uh, everything uh, which is made out of leather, of natural material, mm -hmm. you can uh, treat it. Household? Everything in the household. So everything. the door is squeaking, so you spray it like a lubrication. You can uh, use it even in the kitchen. It's uh, food safe. So if you um, clean your surface on the foot, especially stainless steel, mm -hmm. many things are made of stainless steel and you find the fingerprints, the sweat on it and the sweat will burn into the surface yes and uh, ballistol will protect uh, the surface and mm. it's food safe even you can uh, do like this uh, just show you for this so. it's, abs it's absolutely safe uh, it doesn't hurt at all uh -huh. so lots of uses for one product huh? yes that's unique that's why you call it universal, because it, it, right. it, it, you can use it for almost everything. That's right. Amazing. And would you like to show us how you clean the guns with this yes, special course. oil? Because I've got many questions of people asking me if you can use it on the wood or in the metal or how you have to use it. Can you show it to us? Yes, of course. We go to another place and uh, show you some, some guns and how to clean them and uh, we can try it, of course. Yes. Okay, let's go and see it. Okay, fine. Okay, so here we are with Andrea, CEO from Balistol, Balistol here in Germany. This is one of the most important parts of our documentary with you here, because we need to learn how to clean and preserve our rifles and shotguns. Can you, will you please explain us? Yes, of course. I think uh, cleaning is very easy if you make it really regularly. It's important to protect the gun, not only the gun costs a lot of money sometimes and you want to protect and preserve your, uh, your possessive. So um, after each shooting it's very important, after every time you have been outside, even if you don't shoot any bullets, clean your gun and protect it. Mm -hmm. Because of the density it can creep into the bore and uh, rust can appear. Mm -hmm. And if rust appears too much it can damage the bore and even blow it up. 
And you're talking about cleaning. When you're talking about cleaning, you're talking about metal parts and also wood parts, isn't it? Everything. Everything. Even even the scope. Even you have, the scope. Not with Ballistol, Universal Oil. Oh, okay. On the outside, yes, but of course you have to take care of the scope too, of everything, of the metal part and even of the uh, leather belts if you have it on your gun. Uh -huh. If they are wet, they will get dry and cracky and they don't look nice and uh, they can uh, get bad or fouling uh -huh. and that's uh, not good for the uh, material. Yes. How would you start with it? <laughs> the first is uh, if you are back from the hunt, sh uh, clean your gun only with a wipe so the most of the dirt is away from the outside. So, but this is done, I think. Uh, and the next thing is to uh, clean the bore. Mm -hmm. The easiest way is universal oil. You can use it on everything. Even you just put it on the wood, it's good for the wood. Mm -hmm. So, look that the bore is running down. Put some ballast oil into it. It's coming through here. <laughs> it's even coming through here, yes. Yeah. And let it work a while. Um, you can push it upside down so it will uh, cover the whole bore. Mm -hmm. uh, would lay the, uh, wait a little bit so it can run through. Ballistol has the big advantage that it neutralizes the acid from the burning. Uh, it solves uh, the copper and tombac mm -hmm. uh, and it's a rust protection. Um, usually we use for the cleaning felt stoppers. They uh, work very easily. You just put it on, screw it on, take another one and pull it through. They are very tight to the surface mm -hmm. and can creep very good into the lines in the bore. So just pull them through. You see the ballistol coming out there and you can see the dirt yeah. on, the, on the surface. Mm -hmm. Usually, we don't have so many time now, but usually you wait some minutes uh, or even the most hunters come home from hunting and don't like cleaning their guns. Put ballistol to it. Put your gun into um, the safe, but pay attention, put it upside down yes. so the oil can run out. If you don't do this, make it like this, spray ballistol to it or any other oil, the oil creeps into the mechanism and that's bad. Sometimes it won't work. Mm -hmm. So put it upside down, let it stay overnight, it's not a problem. Ballistol uh, protects it and neutralizes the acid. Mm -hmm. And the next day you will pull through the um, felt bullets, uh, you can see even the color of the uh, copper fixing on the top. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this works very very well. What is uh, very important for a rifle too, um, don't let the oil stay in the bore. Before shooting, put another dry one, pull it through and make it dry. Yes. If, it, if there is oil in the bore, it can damage the bore too. So we, we take another dry one, just pull it through before going out shooting and then usually it should be clean. We should repeat this several times, but this would be uh, much more time we have now. Okay. Another thing what is important, even the area where the bullet is in, just put the oil out here. It's not good f for the rifle um, and the, uh, the projectile, the bullet has to be plain in the bore mm -hmm. uh, without oil on it. Okay. So put it out. <coughs> You repeat this as many times uh, until the fell stop or the patch is clean, if you don't see anything. Um, uh, my slightly grey, it is okay. Mm -hmm. But once a year you have to clean it perfectly. perfectly. And after perfect cleaning, it's very important to go to the shooting range or just make a distance, 100 meter, and uh, shoot it in. So um, the bore needs some shots to be really exact again. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and then hunting season is open. Hunting season is open, but we have already cleaned the inside part of our... Only the rifle inside now, okay. yes. What is very important, of course, the surface too. You know, I put my fingers on it, there's sweat on it, and if I stay like this, uh, in a few days there will be a slightly rust yes. and it will damage the surface. So, just take a towel where ballistol is on it, and make it clean again. You see, yes. there is no fingerprints yeah. on it. Um, the surface is protected, clean everything. But don't spray the oil directly between the stock and the uh, bore, you have to clean it too. Even for the scope, it's good to clean the scope, but don't bring it on the lenses. Uh -huh. um, and even if it's on the lenses, don't rub the lenses. It will damage the surface. Okay, okay. 
Um, yeah, now we got in contact with the stock already. Uh, the stock is a uh, natural material, it's out of wood. Yes. Uh, ballast wool protects the wood from getting dry and cracky. So just put it directly on it or on a towel and wipe it off. Mm. Of course, you have perhaps a shotgun too. Yep. Shotguns only have the, the bore here. Um, of course, uh, it's not so precision than a rifle. Uh, after shooting with a shotgun, just take ballast oil, spray it on both sides in it, let it work a while, and then sweep it through. You can take uh, the fell stoppers. I like them very much because they are very easy to use. You just pull them, put them on. Uh, they have a good pressure to the surface and you can move uh, out a lot of dirt. Some people uh, try uh, it with uh, patches or just with paper, but it doesn't work so well. So mm -hmm. I, I prefer this one. You will see, I cleaned it a little bit, so it's a little bit more dirt in it. And you will see how much will come out if I do this once more. So, so this is inside after cleaning. Usually it's not so necessary to clean a, a rifle so exactly, mm -hmm. but think of the burning residues of the acid and the rust. And this is what you have to protect your gun off from the rust, because rust damages the first surface and one time it can even blow up the gun. Yes. And that's really dangerous. And of course the shotgun has wooden parts and mechanical parts too, the same than the we rifle. Can you can go easily the same here, so it's very easy. Okay. And the other good thing is that it's um, antiseptica, so even if you have some blood or some dirt on the surface and you put it on the face again, you always have it on the, on the face, on the skin. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt. It's like, you see, you have a little cut here. Yeah. I can put ballastol on it. Desinfecize helps the healing, so it doesn't matter at all. Okay. So I'm not afraid of getting ballistol in my face. It's good after shaving too. Yeah, yeah really. Yeah. You've got a nice skin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because of ballistol. Uh, I'm 55 years old. Oh, I look really? much. No, not really. But <laughs> I look much younger now. No, and that's the reason. It's absolutely harmless. And if you know, if you, if you put any other oils, I don't like a stinky oil in my yeah. face. So I just have ballistol on it. I like the smell, and it's good for the skin too. Okay. Easy, quickly. We've done it very quickly. Yeah. It's so easy. Let's just start using it on all our hands. Yes, yeah. yeah. One more thing, perhaps, uh, if it's more dirty, um, if you made a lot of shots, uh, you need a stronger cleaner, perhaps. We have, of course, a lot of different products. Uh, Robosol is an ammonia cleaner. It's very strong. It's the strongest uh, cleaner you can get and it dissolves the copper and tombake very fast. Okay. Ballistol needs a little bit more time and uh, needs a little bit uh, more uh, repeaters. Um, but uh, the other one is a special product and works, of course, a little bit faster. Yeah. Okay. So we have a lot of different products you can use for gun care, for repairing the blacking, blackening, for the wood, uh, for cleaning, for degreasing, um, everything you need for the gun. But the most important thing is Ballistol, universal. universal oil. Yeah. If you are on a trip, to only take ballistol with you and you're happy. I'm going to start using it on all, on all our hands. Because yeah, I think it's great. very useful and it's very important to take care of our guns, yeah. which is our, our tool, our hunting tool is this. And we need to and, have it. And the dogs. And the dogs. You need the dogs for hunting. Even yeah. you can take this for the dogs if they have small injuries, if the felt uh, is a little bit. Um, uh, uh, you have to, to uh, uh, loosen it. Uh, you can use even ballistol really? to it. Yeah, uh, it doesn't matter at all. And what about the, the feet of the, the, feet do the dogs? Especially in the winter, it's very good if you put ballistol on, on the feet because the snow and the ice often uh, cracks the feet, yeah. and you can protect them. You spray ballistol on it, and the the animals they don't care about it. Some lick it off, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, you know, ballistol doesn't hurt at all. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> Um, it doesn't hurt the animals or, or humans or what else. Okay. Amazing, amazing. Okay, Andrea, thank you so much for all this explanation. Yeah, welcome. I'm pretty sure that I've learned it and I will use it on all our hands from now in the yeah. future because I want to keep safe my rifle and my shotgun. Thank you of so course. much. Thank you. Now we can go hunting. I will. <laughs>
Amigos, terminamos aquí la pieza sobre Ballistol, sobre Balistol, como la dicen aquí en Alemania. Hemos aprendido muchísimo sobre sus diversos usos, tantos que casi parece magia. Usos en jardinería, usos en el hogar, usos en los coches, usos en la bicicleta, usos en el cuero, usos incluso para limpiar nuestras armas, quizá el más importante, tanto escopetas como rifles. Nos llevamos mucho aprendido, esperemos que vosotros también hayáis aprendido mucho con nosotros y hayáis disfrutado de este reportaje aquí en Aham, Alemania. Y os dejamos con la última prueba que hacemos a Ballistol, su sabor.